Hello, and welcome back to part two of Windows 7 Basic Operation Series. My name is Joe, and today I'll be giving you some starter tips on using the Internet Explorer browser. Now, the first thing that comes to mind for most people when they think of computers is the Internet. The Internet is the single biggest reason computers have become popular in our daily lives. Because of this, successfully navigating the Internet is one of the most important things to know about your computer. Microsoft's most recent Internet browser is Internet Explorer 9, the most polished and streamlined Microsoft browser yet. Microsoft Internet Explorer 9 is a surprisingly robust and capable web browser. By default, the Internet Explorer icon is located right here on the taskbar. Depending on which manufacturer built your computer, it may also be pinned in the Start menu. Clicking on either opens up the browser window. When you first open your internet browser, you'll likely be taken to your home page, which may be set by your computer manufacturer or by Microsoft. It's okay though, I'll show you a little bit later how to change it. If you're familiar with Internet Explorer, you'll notice that Internet Explorer 9 has been radically redesigned, but still maintains many of the features you've come to know and love. You may notice a lot less going on in the area of the menu bar. It's a cleaner, sleeker design meant to put the emphasis on the buttons and tools you use most. First, you'll notice the address bar. This is what Microsoft refers to as the one bar. It now serves the dual function of being an address bar as well as a search bar, making use of Microsoft's Bing search engine. You can type a full address in the bar or just a part of it, and the browser will automatically suggest a site for you. Next to the one bar, you'll see the big arrows for moving to the next or last page. Unlike previous browsers, which had a down arrow next to the back button, you can easily navigate your past pages by clicking and holding the back button itself. A list shows you all the places you've been and allows you to easily get back to them without clicking through one at a time. Inside the one bar, you'll see some small icons. The magnifying glass gives you search suggestions, the down arrow shows autocomplete entries, and compatibility view is an important button on the web page. Internet Explorer 9 is fairly new and has different formatting for its web pages. If you experience trouble in your operation of your web pages, trying Compatibility View can make it operate much smoother using old formatting styles. A nifty addition to the recent IE browsers are the tabs. You can keep yourself on one page and start another browser session without opening a whole new window. Simply click on the square to the right of your open tab and a new one opens. Instead of a home page, it displays your most frequently visited sites. On each site is a popularity bar. It shows how often you frequent those sites. The bigger the bar, the more often you've visited. Favorites are another staple of Internet Explorer, dating back a long while. They're still here, tucked away to the right in the star icon. Your favorites are a good way of quickly accessing the sites you visit most. To save a web page as a favorite, simply go to the Favorites tab while you're on the page you want click the star, and click Add to Favorites. You can also stay on the page, hold the Control key and the letter D. You can even select what folder in your favorites that you'd like it to be placed in. You'll see to the right of the Favorites tab is the History. The history allows you to go back and check the sites you were on, whether it was an hour ago or a week ago. This can save you time if you're looking for a site you were previously on and can't remember the link. Another thing you'll notice is the notification bar. Most IE users will see that the bar has moved from the top of the page down to the bottom. When your website needs to run a script or a potentially unsafe action, the notification bar will pop up and warn you, asking if you'd like to run it or not. It also shows up when you need to download files, asking to run or save the file. This is a nice safety feature because harmful sites may be trying to automatically run scripts or downloads. And the browser says, hey, wait a minute, let me ask my guy first. This is the computer equivalent of your parents checking your Halloween candy before letting you eat it. Only all the Kit Kats don't disappear. I told you I would teach you how to set your home page before we left, so here we go. We can do this a couple ways, starting with the cool cogwheel up in the top right. This is your tools menu. To select a home page, go to Internet Options. The General tab should open up, and right below is the Home Page section. You can simply enter the address of the site you wish to make your home page and click Apply, 
or you can click the Use Current button, which saves the page you're currently on as your new home page. Just click Apply, OK, and now your Home button will take you to your home page every time. And what's nice, when you close your tabs and open them back up again, there's that robot ready to greet you. Now you have a basic understanding of how to operate within Internet Explorer. It works slightly different with older browsers, but the principle is similar enough that you won't be out of luck when faced with an older browser. Thanks for watching part two of the Windows 7 Basic Operation Series.